So I'm a personal trainer. So I work with um, women and men who want to lose weight, um, gain fitness, get strength, um, you know, get back into exercise, all different levels, beginners, more advanced people. I can help them online. Um, I do do face-to-face -face and, and online as well um, via Zoom, Zoom um, personal training as well as online programs. Um, I also, with my naturopath consultations, um, I work online as well as I have online programs for that as well. One of the things that I want to, the myths I want to dispel around weight loss and or fat loss and endo is that gentle exercise is going to cut it because um, I see a lot in the group, in the Facebook groups, the endo Facebook groups and also my own group is that women say, oh, well, I'm in pain and I can't exercise. Yes, that is a component. Yes, that, that has to be factored into the type of plan that you're doing for your, um, for your goals for fat loss. However, doing things just like yoga and Pilates is not going to cut it to help you lose weight. And I see that all the time. Women say, oh, just do yoga and Pilates. It's not going to cut it. It's not specific enough for, for the goal of fat loss. Yes, yoga and Pilates have their place. However, if you want to lose fat, if you want to lose fat, there are certain things that you need to do to lose fat, like weight training, like high intensity um, interval training. Uh, if those things can't work for you because of the pain, then uh, you know address the pain and inflammation with nutrition and um, other modalities that can help with um, endo, so that you can do the types of training that will actually get you to the goals that you want to achieve which goes back to the, you know, my philosophy with if you want to lose weight with endo, then look out for the nutrition, uh, do the right types of exercise that are good for um, fat loss and address the inflammation to help, to help all the three things come together to get you to the, where you want to be. One of the other myths that I see um, you know, around endo and, and getting treatment and working out something that actually gets you to the goals, you know, that you want is around naturopaths being expensive. So buying things offline that are not specific for endo, that are just a diet here or a supplement here or a something else here, um, cost money. They cost money. And they're not targeted to what you actually want to do. So yes, naturopaths can be expensive, but they are qualified people that can actually give you the information that you actually need. They can help you, guide you through the strategies that will get you the results you need. It's like if you were trying to fix your car, you don't Google fixing your car. You go to a qualified mechanic who can actually fix it. It's the same, it's the same thing with your health. Um, don't Google. <laughs> Some of the things my clients have wasted money on in terms of losing weight with endo is uh, the, um, the fat burners from the health food shops. And over time, that becomes expensive once you add it up over a certain amount of time, especially if there, there's no changes in diet and exercise and lifestyle to also get you to the goal of losing weight other things that they could that they also waste money on is shakes protein shakes or gimmicky fat loss shakes meal replacement shakes that um, over time cost a lot of money and don't always work towards um, supporting the body in terms of inflammation as well a lot of times they can be dairy and sugar, quite high in sugar you'd be surprised how high they are in sugar which doesn't help endo at all or inflammation or fat loss i think women get stuck on the idea of the scales moving and uh, that's that's not how i want well, not how i work i think that size is much more important and um the you know the way you look it's important to take I always get my clients to take photos. Um, they don't have to show me, but they take photos so that they can see how their body shape starts to change once they start to make changes with their nutrition and their exercise towards fat loss. And also then, so then at the end, they can also celebrate how that actually um, has, you know, 
how much they've, how far they've come as well. Some of the conversations I have with my clients around um, uh, putting muscle on and, you know, losing weight is that it's important to have it's important to have more muscle mass because your body, your, it speeds up your metabolism. Your body becomes more efficient at, lo at losing weight. And as you get older, that um, the ability to, to gain muscle declines as well. When clients work with me, typically they start to feel a little bit more energy, a little bit more confidence, um, better sleep within the first couple of weeks. And then it's usually around the three to four week mark where they start to actually physically see changes.